now uh, we have the second chart two charts two bar charts now I will print out the now what should I print here if I look at the columns here uh, we have what quantity we have quantity based on the category it will be interesting let's try to print it out or we should do this first I will group the categories here by typing the group by I will not even visualize it I will just um, make it a bit interesting to look at them because after grouping it uh, you could clearly see which data corresponds to which one if I try to type in the DF group by and the name of the columns category and subcategory here subcategory subcategory column as a dash I think here right yes this one category and click shift enter it will not print anything but if I just add in the aggregated method sum it will just extract all the numeric data for this category and subcategory column you could see how does it relate these numbers or these values to the uh, category and subcategory here but we are interesting in what we are just interesting in the quantity so we will extract this quantity column here in order to extract it inside of the square brackets I will type in the quantity it will print it out as a series and then I will in order to print it out as a data frame I will add in the data frame or create the data frame by typing the PD data frame here and click shift enter you could see it has extracted quantity here but now uh, you could clearly see that we have this kind of error first we will get rid of this one numeric only equals true I think it should remove it yes and uh, you could clearly see that the quantity of these categories and subcategories how does it relate to these um, items here uh, we don't have to visualize it because this subcategory has different values and that's why there is no meaning to visualize it but it's very useful to just see at your data while uh, splitting them and <clears throat> ordering them uh, correspondingly to each other here you could see the category has four subcategories and it has just printed out quantity for each subcategory here it's just a very interesting trick that's why I just explained it to you now I will make it what the histogram chart um, based on based on the two columns I will pick up two columns here which one will be the best if I just look at the ship mode yes we have a ship mode here and the category if I just look at the category here yes we have a category and now I will try to just um, print out uh, uh, the kind of a chart or histogram uh, it makes with the help of the face grid I think face grid is uh, the good way of visualizing them it just creates a grid uh, on many types of plots with the minimal code how we should use this we will just type in SNS uh, face face grid grid inside of the face grid it should be in the upper case face grid right we will pass in the DF first and the second the column name will be what the ship mode ship mode then uh, I can even do what concatenate it or define the variable here let's just type in the category name equals and get catenate the category name the map method name map method and add in what plt hist hist and add in the what the category column the second column here category if I click just shift enter 
you could see it will just print out the ship mode based on these uh, categories here you could see with this, this is the difference between all of them what i want to add is the month column i mean is to extract this date here if i have a, this kind of order date i want to extract this month and just visualize the data based on the year on the month how should i do this mm. It's just not a compulsor to visualize it, but uh, printing out the dataset itself is a good point. If I just print out the DF here, like head one, this is the order date, right? And yeah, I want to create, and this is the year, it has extracted one column for year, but, but I will add in the month column here. How should I do this? First, I will check the data types, df types here, and see what is the data type of this order date. You can see it has a date time, date time, uh, data type. So we will need to convert it before extracting the months. Uh, or we should convert it. We will just type in the months equals the variable equals df and pick up the column name, order name and then uh, convert it to the string right after converting this to the string uh -huh, we have an error this order name okay order date date and then we could do what apply uh, apply the lambda uh, function here uh, by typing the month again variable equals to and we will type in the month apply apply what we are going to apply lambda x equals i will just again convert it back to the date time by typing the date time and str time and make it uh, in this format why this will be the year then it will be the month then the least one will be the day here the last one and now I will create the new uh, column typing the df month and then type in the bring back the variable itself by typing the month and adding what the math method because of extracting the month x lambda x equals x months i want to extract this month here after setting or this uh, function this str time day time um, keyword here months and now if i call the date here date itself data frame itself it will be given error date time is not defined why would we have this kind of error we should not have the error in the old code i think but if i let's check the importing here we we'll run it we don't have a uh, we, if i just try to change this and come back and run this code again we have an error this does not match to the format at all this is a space we shouldn't have a space here let's get rid of these spaces click just shift enter and you could see it has extracted the months for us if i just type in the tail the last uh, row and you could see the last uh, months here is 12 here and if i go back here go to the right you could see the month has extracted 12 from this column here and now we are open to group it by year and the months we have a year and the months and i can open uh, group it without problem by typing the df group by group by 
mm, the name of the columns year and the month month right click shift enter summit of course sum all these values and it will extract all the numeric values for the uh, specific months and years here you will see 20, 20 11 has 12 months 20, uh, 12 again has 12 months and four years has each each of them has 12 months and their values here this is also very useful trick to know here but there is no need to visualize them we could visualize it for years but for months i think that there is no meaning here if i just want to visualize for years i will just type in the sns bar plot bar plot bar plot uh, x will be the year year y will be the cells and the data will be what Mm, again this let's just define the date here and call it again and bring it here data equals to date we shift enter again we have an error called interpret year because we haven't resetted index as you can see seaborn has its own requirement index or oh, you could see how would it bring out the bar charts based on the years this is all the values of the cells for these specific years here from this data okay now I want